Thousands in Texas are receiving invoices from their electrical provider in the thousands of dollars. Hang on, I'm going to tell you what's going on with that. Hey everybody, Hill Country Prepper. Appreciate you guys checking out my videos. Thanks to all my subscribers. I appreciate the comments. Keep them coming. Just want to say thanks for that. Here's what's going on in Texas. I don't know if you know this or not, but there's two different ways that you can sign up for electrical power. You can sign up on a wholesale plan or you can sign up on a retail plan. Now the difference between these two, a wholesale plan means that you pay a very low price. When electrical demand is low, you pay literally pennies on the, on, on the power that's generated. On a retail plan, you pay a fixed fuel surcharge. Now what had happened when there was a change in the energy demand when the storm came through, solar and wind electricity had failed because of the freezing conditions and the snow and the ice. Solar couldn't keep up, obviously. Wind generation couldn't keep up because of icing on the wind generators. So they went down. When they went down, the natural gas supply tried to fill the gap. And it did for a short period of time. But it too failed because the supply of natural gas wasn't needed because of the solar and wind. And we were exporting that natural gas out of state. Now that stopped. And when that stopped, the electric service providers had to rebuy that natural gas supply back. And what we saw was an increase in prices, in some cases up to 7,000%. Now those people that had signed up for the wholesale plan, they are the ones that are seeing their electric bills increase by thousands of dollars. Those on the retail plan, it's yet to be decided how that fuel surcharge is going to change, and that's going to be a big issue here in Texas. But the big difference is what you're seeing, the people that are paying the thousands of dollars are those that are on the wholesale plan. And these people have been paying, like I said, pennies on the dollar for the fuel that's used. And of course, if you're using solar and wind, that is very inexpensive. So they were paying a couple dollars a month for a long period of time because we've had electric power from solar and wind for a long time. Well, now these people are getting hit with this fuel surcharge. Like I said, it's up in some places 7,000%. So the one thing you need to remember, just because it's renewable energy, that doesn't mean it's reliable energy. And that's the reason these people are seeing these large increases in their electric bills, because they signed up for the wholesale plan. Guys, if you're finding this information helpful, why don't you give me a like and a, subs and, and a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber yet, why not? Subscribe to my channel now. Guys, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you want to learn more about preparedness, check out some more of my videos on my channel. Just my thoughts. Hill Country Prepper. Thanks.